in this video we are going to discuss a problem related to convolution so observe the problem here if x of t is equivalent to u of t minus 3 minus u of t minus 5 and h of t that means impulse response is equivalent to e power minus 3 t u of t find d by dt of x of t convolution with h of t so here they given signal and impulse response we need to find out the convolution of differentiation of the signal with impulse response now here i am going to find out d by dt of x of t first so here x of t they given u of t minus 3 and minus u of t minus 5 so if you are considering d by dt of x of t you need to consider differentiation of these two unit steps that means u of t minus 3 as well as d by dt of u of t minus 5. So, here as you know that since integral of del of t is equal to u of t by this you can write so del of t is equal to u of d by dt of u of t you can see here so integration when shifted to this side so it will become differentiation del of t is equal to d by dt of u of t by this relation i am going to write d by dt of x of t value as d by dt of u of t minus 3 will become shifted impulse so del of t minus 3 minus like that in the same way this is going to equal to del of t minus 5 now we are having the value of d by dt of x of t with which we need to con uh, perform convolution with impulse so the impulse they given is some um, e power minus 3 t u of t before getting into that so i am just want to perform convolution directly with the h of t and not substituting this value now itself so here we are having distributive property in our hand that is if you are having any addition and subtraction of signals and it is uh, uh, convoluted with any signal then you can do convolution separately and, and then you can perform that addition or subtraction that means h of t this is equal to h of t convolution with del of t minus 3 so minus h of t convolution with del of t minus 5. So, as we are having another property that is convolution with impulse or shifted uh, shifting property in convolution. So, here whatever the signal in convolution with impulse that is also shifted impulse this signal will takes the shift that means so it will become h of t minus 3 minus h of t minus 5 as you know that h of t is equal to e power minus 3 t u of t if you substitute t minus 3 in place of t you are going to get h of t minus 3 and uh, if you substitute t minus 5 in place of t so then you are going to get e power uh, that means h of t minus 5 signal here i am writing that so e power minus 3 t means so t minus 3 so u of t minus 3 so minus h of t minus 5 means e power minus 3 into t minus 5 and u of t minus 5 will provide you the resultant signal of d by dt of x of t convolution with h of t. Like this way you need to get answers for this type of questions by using properties of convolution.